It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. 
And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? She will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse the true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are. You have it. V. You can trust Oda. All right, then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a Sorry, favor. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky. Oda, uh, not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. No way this is gonna work. Hmm, yet. We woke away with a small measure of success. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No 
know, just to fix her dame. Wakaku Akata runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? <laughs> have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. 
Okada san, what is free often proves most costly? Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan town and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B.
Ask me, your word's worth more than any eddies. Ah, oh, you just say that because you ain't got no eddies. Neither do you. True, but I ain't the one spouting. Open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. 
Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, he might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just... be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be... touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry! Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Know what the worst thing is about this place? No. About those fights you mentioned. V, V, V! If you don't have a titanium skull lining, you're gonna have memory problems in no time. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you wanna go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Uh, hey, V. About to start. You, uh, you gotta take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Just a sec. Be right back. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right, uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. I'm getting worked up. Ready? Three! Two! Hey, hey! The hell is that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. <laughs> That's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! Fuck, Chum. 
Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <sighs> Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one. Target, Pete. Hit the target, not the wall. Looking good, Rudy. Go, go, go! Halfway there, V. Get a grip for fuck's sake. The hell was that, Lisa? Forget your glasses? Fifteen seconds. Last chance, V. Ah, nothing like the smell of powder and hot lead. Stop! Everyone stop! We're done! First place, Rudy! Second, V! Arrest you, Bush League punks! Learn to shoot! Get out of my sight! See you around, Wilson. Till next time. a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached.
Uh, excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kinda spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Uh, okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Calm. Think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh, shit. You ain't with the cops, are ya? More the opposite. <gasps> Phew! Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, checking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on. I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. Aren't you here?
Uh-huh. 